This is Tank's vlog, August 4th, 2019, wrapping up today in sports. Yesterday, well, I was at Yankee Stadium, and uh, I got to see the first game of the Yankees sweep of the Red Sox. Uh, I want to thank uh, Rob uh, Gibson for inviting me. Uh, he's the one that... Uh, Asked me to uh, come to the game on Twitter, and I got to hang out with some of his friends. Uh, Dan Sugamelli, Devin Mackey, John Meehan, and Ryan Portholes as we watched the uh, Yankees lay the smack it down on the Red Sox. Um, of course, uh, Rob being a Boston firefighter was uh, not too happy with the results of the game. Uh, but uh, it was quite interesting. Uh, and uh, in the second game of the doubleheader, the first game was won by the Yankees 9-2. to DJ LeMay, who just crushing Chris Sale. Chris Sale, what a terrible year Chris Sale has had, of course. I mean, Chris Sale. I mean, I think it's time for the foreclosure on Chris Sale. I mean, you want to talk about going out of business? Chris Sale, you want to talk about going out of business? And, of course, he, the, uh, the Red Sox were not too happy with the uh, home plate umpire. Uh... Alex Cora got ejected. Chris Sale, uh, as he was leaving, got to ejected. Uh, it just was uh, a, b a brutal performance by the uh, Red Sox. Uh, Domingo Herman pitched brilliantly. LeMayu had a pair of home runs, just crushed the ball. And and the Red Sox are just, just right now are just playing terrible baseball. And uh, in the second game against the Yankees, who were throwing a opener... Yankee, a game the Yankees should not have won. A game that the Red Sox should have ha had plenty of chances to take the lead early in the game, but just couldn't do it, couldn't get the big hit. But the Yankees did. Losing the second game 6-4. to four. Seven in a row, by the way, now for Boston. Seven straight losses. And now they're 59-54. Keep in mind, last year they were 108-54. So on August 3rd, they suffered a 54th loss, and last year they lost 54 games all season. You know, Yankee, Red Sox fans may not be ready to console. David Dombrowski console when he said that we don't have a chance, and it looks like it's had an effect on the team. This is why you don't say things like that, you idiot! But the uh, Red Sox are basically just hanging on by a thread right now. They're five and a half out of the wild card. Five and a half out of the wild card. If you want to say that uh, they saw a chance because the Red Sox may be fine. But right now, they just look like they're just a dead team walking. And uh, they play again today, Sunday Night Baseball. I mean, last week, the uh, Yankees, uh, the Red Sox won the first three games and then lost the uh, Sunday Night game. They're going to have to reverse that. Because right now, the, the Red Sox... Desperately need a win. I mean, the division's lost. Forget it. The division's lost. Even Dave Dombrowski says it. But that wild card, the wild card is even starting to slip away. So, we'll see what happens tonight. But, of course, it was a great time out at the uh, Yankee Stadium. I also want to go see uh, Fan Fest. Uh, saw that um, hostage situation with Boomer Esiason. Uh, so... Once again, that was great. Thanks again to uh, Rob Gibson and uh, Dan Sugamelli, Devin Mackey, John Meehan, and Ryan Portholes for the great time. Got home in time to see the Mets play, and Marcus Stroman struggled in the first inning. But then he made a big, 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 big play, picking up the ball, doing probably one of the best infield plays the Mets have made all season. Thrown out the runner at home, and he limited the damage, even though he could uh, didn't get any help from the home plate umpire either. And he threw a lot of pitches, so he didn't make it out of the fourth, the fifth inning. But he actually kept him in the game, and then the Mets bullpen did a decent enough job until Ed Luz Diaz came along. But in the meantime, Wilson Ramos had six RBIs, two two home runs, including a big three run bomb, as the Mets won seven to five, getting back on track. 
Mets have won. Uh, that the Mets are back to uh, just two games under five hundred. And if they could win today, that would be a very good thing. It was the Cubs four one winners over the Brewers. Milwaukee right now is on the edge. 57-55. Have not played well since the All-Star break. That uh, Their playoff chances are not looking very good at the moment. In the Battle of Florida, it was the Rays 8-6 winners over the Marlins. Phillies beat the White Sox 3-2. Bouncing back from a Friday night game, which they lost in 15 innings, where they had to have a pitcher in the outfielder and an outfielder on the mound. <laughs> Trey Mancini hit a homer, drove in four, as the Orioles beat the Blue Jays 6 to 4. Indians over the Angels, 7-2. Nelson Cruz homer three times. The Twins club the Royals, 11-3. Aaron Sanchez, who was 3-14 with Toronto, made his Houston debut. And... To six no hit innings. Now we have another complete uh, uh, combined no hitter. I hate combined no hitters. Seattle has some pride, man. This is twice you've been no hit by combined no hitter. Combined no hitters suck. They're not no hitters. They suck. They shouldn't count as no hitters. Ah, oh, stupid, stupid combined no hitters. You know, I, I, I say that the, the manager should leave the pitcher in the game until he gives up a hit. As soon as he gets out the hit, then you take him out. And you got a huge lead. They beat the Mariners 9 0. Mariners have no pride. I hate combined no hitter. They have room to no hitter for everyone. Every no hitter now is combined. God, I hate modern baseball. Can we go back to the games and pitchers through nine, please? It was the Braves, 5-4 winners over the Reds. Rangers, 5-4 winners over the Tigers. Diamondbacks, 18-7 winners over the Nationals as Eduardo Escobar had 7 RBI. Giants beat the Rockies, 6-5. Giants continuing their good play. Rockies continuing to fade away. It was the A's 8-3 winners over the Cardinals. And the Dodgers were 4-1 winners over the Padres. Today's three stars are Aaron Sanchez with that six-inning lame-ass uh, combined no-hitter. Eduardo Escobar, 7 RBI for the Diamondbacks. And Wilson Ramos, who actually had just one home run. It was a... Double that was that last one that that's that basically clearing double that was over the head of the outfielder and six RBI. So, a very good game for Wilson Ramos. And our birthday shout out goes to the Yankee starting pitcher that I saw pitch yesterday, Domingo Herman, who turns 27. And we take a look back to 1949. When the NBL and the BAA merged to become the NBA. Check out the story of the basketball merger that helped build professional basketball to what it is today. At the Barstool Sports and at Sports Encyclopedia where sports history lives. Good day.